Okay, so uh, we're going to set up an attractor to that. So let's bring in one of our points and uh, put a point there. And uh, the way we're going to do this is we're going to set up a distance. So uh, like uh, like our Gaussian example way back when, uh, we want to just con concentrate on what's coming in and what's coming out. And we're passing in one value. Uh, just ignore these for now, but we're just passing in one value and we're getting one value out. And so what we do with that is um, the way that we get interesting things in. And so the value in, instead of just having the, the x position, having it go this way, uh, we can uh, have the distance from a point and have that go in and that will give us our uh, information out. So here we have sign and um, this uh, demonstrates something that I kind of don't really like about sign uh, is that um, it's got uh, if you have yeah I don't I don't know really know how to explain it but it has to do what I want to say but it has to do with the waves and how the wave starts at zero and goes out um, with the cosine it starts at the top and so with the cosine here I'll just do it really quick so just uh, concentrate on this little you know this little point that's going in right there if we use cosine instead Yeah, see we have the round point up here, and I just like that better. So now that we have that, we can uh, do some interesting things. We can uh, set up two attractors. Um, well, here, let's get this, copy and paste this down, and uh, set this point. And now we can multiply these together. Uh, okay, so that's large, so we're gonna, oh, we need to bump down our amplitude. I'm going to put these a little farther apart. Uh, let's bump up our amplitude a little bit. So we can get a lot of really uh, interesting shapes off of this, and 35. Yeah, so I'd play around with that and uh, do something more interesting with it. And I'm gonna just bring in Weaver Bird really quick. Uh, Weaver Bird, let's go up here. So this is kind of just a place for you to get started uh, looking at this and making your own interesting shapes and thinking of uh, ways that you can do this, like uh, you could apply this to a surface or something like that, and that would be pretty cool.